Good morning, Modern Steaders. We got our sidekick with us this morning. You coming milking? Yeah. Yeah. The pigs heard us. They're stretching. Did you guys sleep good last night with all the rain? They just want to eat, huh? Yeah. They just want their breakfast. Good morning, boys. Is that some good hay? Caleb sees you. Morning. If you want to get the small scoop, get about half a scoop of grain for Willow. A little bit more. Yeah, and put it in her pink bucket. You can give Willow's grain a little squirt. Just one? Uh, a couple of them. Moist, get it. Spray it all. Of minerals on it for her. And if I, we wet it first, it sticks, so she has to eat the minerals. And I give her a little bit of salt. There you go. Put that right on top. And we're gonna need one more scoop of alfalfa pellets. Good morning, girls. You know right where to go, Willow, huh? So what you think of milking with that? It was fun. That was better than hand milking? Yeah, because your hands get really tired. Your hands do get tired, huh? And Willow's more antsy when you hand milk, isn't she? Yeah. She was pretty mellow this morning. I didn't even think about that, but that milking machine makes it easier for little hands like Olivia's too. When it's milking, your hands get tired really quick and it takes a while to build that muscle up. As a parent, it's exciting to see your kids getting involved with doing something and being excited about it. Like the milking, I get up and do it at 6 a.m. And for Olivia to want to come out and do that and ask and have a good time doing it, oh, that puts a smile on my face, guys. I've been doing really good eating up over here and getting all the moss scratched up. Let's stop feeding them over this way. Morning, Moose. 
we've been getting a ton of new subscribers lately so I wanted to thank all y'all for stopping over and I thought I'd take a couple of minutes and introduce ourselves we're alumni acres I'm Al we bought an old abandoned farm four years ago now when we bought the property it had a 7 8 burnt down house on it the property was part of an abandoned farm about 40 years ago there was an old barn down here over there in that pasture there used to be another barn last year we had that all logged and turned that back into pasture I shouldn't say that it's not pasture yet we're working on it it was about four acres of wooded thick pine that were all rotted and dead and fallen over so we had all that cut and cleared we've been building our barn here this year a lot of y'all have probably been watching us build our barn we have goats here. We just brought in two bucks the other day. They came all the way from Missouri, about 1,300 miles. This past winter, we brought in a goat from Phoenix, Arizona from our friends over at Weedham and Reap. That goat's name is Hope. Our goal here is to turn this back into a working, sustainable mini farm. This is our milking room for the goats in the feed room. We're still working on getting that built out. Back here, we have our goat stalls. What are you girls up to, huh? Looks like you're making a mess. Morning. Yeah, morning. In here we have our workshop, and over here we're gonna be having more animal stalls that we need to finish building out. Today we need to hang a door for out here. We want this door to open in. I don't want to open into the stalls right here. So we're gonna to have to put our trim up on the outside with this overhang gap for the stop. So it's gonna be different than all the other doors we've been installing so far. Let's go 81. Yeah, let's go 81. Eyeballed first. That one's good right there. Now we need a piece that is 40 and 7 eighths. Let's get rid of this right here. That'll work. Height we are going to be half inch shorter than the height, so it's 80. Gotta check this side. It should be the same, but you never know. 80. So we're gonna need 79 and a half. And then we have 34 and a quarter. 34 and a quarter. Somebody was asking one of the videos the other day why the door width was off. Rough sawn lumber is not always the same thickness. It can vary throughout the whole timber. So that's why I like taking like three measurements. So if I know this area is this way, and then that two by four could change. But we are 34 and a quarter. So we want to go a half inch narrower. So we want to go 33 and three quarters by 79 and a half. Here is the door we have all glued up that we need to cut down. 
cut off an inch and three quarter on the top. Get that done first. Five-eighths should bring us to 33 and three-quarters. Yep. All right. My straight edge likes the bow in the middle. So I will push it on my mark and I'll put a screw on the back side. Let's double check our marks. Yep, right on the money. Here we go. This is a quarter of an inch thick, so we can use that for a spacer. Some of these on the bottom for the door to sit on so we have our right spacing and then we'll keep one if we tack if we tack these spacers in place we don't have to worry about holding everything Push the whole door over. Let's see if we can slide the whole door over. All right, all those lines look good. I marked the hinges to go at 10 inches. If we do that, <coughs> if we do that, we'd be right here. Go from the 
outside and push it in, I bet you. All right, let's see what it looks like. That's tight there. It hits there. Okay, I have to trim that. So this time we need to cut it going this direction. Sticks have to recut it, but man, is it gonna be worth it? There, I like that, that looks nice. What do you think? Kind of blends right in, don't it? Yeah. Now we just gotta figure out what kind of handle or latch we wanna put on that door. Lockable, yeah. But then this, it opens in, so when this is a animal stall or if we're storing to the tractor here, we don't have this opening out onto whatever's oh, yeah, out that's here. So that's why I did, made this one open in. So we're not taking up the space. Well, it's just us this afternoon doing the chores. Olivia thought she needed a haircut. Oh, girls and their hairdos. Your pig's missing, Olivia. She'll be back later. Well, you boys are super chill goats. You're not supposed to get in the hay feeder there, mister. You're super chill. Both of you are, huh? You girls liking your new digs? We'll be able to tell when you go into heat now, easy with the bucks around, huh? We got some more top secret stuff coming in later on for you girls in about two more weeks. Another big surprise. Chickens want some feed? We'll come over this way. All right, take a guess, pause the video, and let me know how many eggs you think we're gonna have today. I say 16. Two, four, six, eight, ten so far. Thirteen. She's not even sitting on any. So are you sitting on three or more? What? You're not sitting on any either. What the heck? So we got 13. I was off by three. Oh, feels like it's been a while. 
Tonight's our Friday night, so we're gonna be having pizza tonight, guys. <laughs> Some fresh homemade pizza dough. It's a little sticky. Gotta flour this one up good. I like to put some Italian herbs in our pizza dough. It gives it a nice flavor. I had it nice and round and then I lost it. In our pizza sauce, I like to put a little bit of Italian seasoning. And then about a tablespoon of raw honey. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. Oh yeah. I preheat our cast iron pizza skillet in the oven. I think our pizza dough is a little bit bigger. That's all right. Fold it up. Bam. Oh yeah, you can already hear it sizzling. It starts to cook right away. We'll roll up our edges, make some thick crusts. There we go. You can already smell that dough cooking on the cast iron skillet and it smells delicious. So good. P.O. Box, you got a nice shirt. Yeah. That's from a viewer that has an Etsy store. Thank you for the Homestead Princess yes, shirt. Thank you. We don't have a Homestead Princess. No. <laughs> and we got a package from YouTube. I wonder what it could be. What could it be? What could it be? Thank you all for subscribing to the channel and helping us get to our 100,000 subscriber mark and get in the play button. It's a huge accomplishment and we couldn't do it without you. Gina got all excited, thought she was going to go mow the lawn. I think she got about 10 minutes worth of mowing done and then it started downpouring this night. <laughs> 
Oh, it loves to rain here. You'd think we live in a rain country. For those of you who don't know, we're going to be joining Justin Rhodes and four other YouTube homesteaders in on Justin's DIY Abundance membership website. And we're all going to be posting one new video a month. And we're going to be active on his Facebook forum group. So if you guys want to join us over there, I'll put a link in the description down to it below. And I wanted to thank all y'all who have already signed up for it. I've been blown away by the response for that. So thank you guys. You guys are going to help us decide what kind of videos you want us to make over there every month. So I'm excited to see what you guys are looking to, looking forward to. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. We couldn't do it without you. 100,000 subscribers, that is huge. I believe right now we're at 117,000, so thank you from the bottom of our heart. You guys are a huge blessing to us and our homestead, and continue to follow along on our journey with us as we rebuild this old abandoned farm that we bought. It's been a labor of love. So we'll see you right back here in the next video.